Hello. Today we're going to look at how to display summary task percent complete when all subtasks are milestones in Microsoft Project and not all of the milestones are 100% complete. Um, this tutorial was prompted by a question I received on my blog. And so what I'm presenting here today is a solution I sent to the guy who asked for it. For example, if we've got this schedule, as you can see, I've got a dummy schedule. Um, under the first summary tags, you've got dummy summary. We've got two milestones, one and two, and four dummy, dummy tasks. It's fine. So calculates Microsoft Project calculates the percent complete as normal. Then we come to this milestone summary act and task id8 you see all subtasks and milestones it's got six six sub, um, milestones underneath and three are 100 percent complete and three are still outstanding but the summary percent is shown as zero that's what the guy doesn't want. And here, you've got one milestone complete, two are standing, and it's still showing 0%. For here, you've got two, the two substacks and subtasks are milestones, they're 100% complete, and it's showing 100%. Yeah, that's fine. So, how do we solve this? Um, as you might know, Microsoft Project calculates percent complete based on actual durations or task. And where all subtasks are milestones, it still uses the milestone principle of it's either zero or hundred percent. And for it to be a hundred percent, all milestones must be hundred percent. Hence why milestone three here shows hundred percent in the summary. Um, as always, it's a walk around in Microsoft Project. And if you've been following my videos, you know I love custom fields. So today we're going to use five custom fields. Might seem OTT, but got numerous custom fields. So what's five? We can use five out of them. So, and that will be four number fields and one text field. And the four number fields will be helper columns. Just we're just using them to store temporarily store values for calculation. And the fifth custom field will be a text field, which we will use to replace the percent complete. So instead of using default percent complete field for Microsoft Project, we'll create a custom one. So let's go ahead and add the first. Um, custom field. First custom field will be we want to calculate the number of milestones, the number of substars that are milestones. So add new number columns. Go for number one. You can actually pick any number field that you like. So I've gone for number one. Go to format custom fields um by the way i'm using microsoft project 2010 my try my light trial license for microsoft professional is expired so back to the old version that i have but i think this tutorial should work for all all versions of microsoft project so if i rename this field to number Milestone and the formula will be go to functions general if for expression. I just need a flag, check if it's a milestone. Yep, if it's a milestone, if it's two, go for one. So I want to count the number of milestones. And and if it's false, I go for zero. 
it's like saying existing data will be deleted i'm fine with that okay calculation for task and group summary rules so here just i want to count the number of milestones what i need is a sum so for choose a roll up and under the drop down sum i click okay shows me here we've got two milestones here we've got six milestones five so you see it also calculates the milestones under where you've got nested summary tasks so the milestones are five here one two three four five which is good that's our helper one so helper two we, now we add another helper column this time we'll go for number two And I'll rename this number of subtasks. So I want to count the total number of subtasks on that summary. Yep. Um, the formula will be again, I go for my if. So we're saying I'm going to count milestones and tasks. I don't want to count summary, so I'll say. If it's not a flag, summary, then one for the true part, false part, summary, task is zero. Okay. Again, okay, the prompt for formula. Again, I do a roll up. I want to sum because I'm counting number of subtasks. I click OK. Yep, give me the number of subtasks. That's fine. So I add the third helper column. Again, I go for number, number three this time. And now what I want to see, do is confirm if all subtasks are actually milestones. So I'll name this all subtask. So all subtasks are milestones. You can name this anything you like. I'm going for all subtasks are milestones. Okay, now my formula. Because this calculation will be done at the summary level, I'm going to do if if it's summary if it's at summary level tag summary the true part now will be what I want is number of milestones so I go to my custom field number. Custom number, number of milestones divided by number of subtasks. What I'm doing is, if all subtasks are milestones, it means the number of milestones will equal to the number of subtasks, and that way I'll get one as the answer. But if they are not, I'll get something other than one. So false part of this if statement I put a zero. A prompted as A. And because my formula here is checking for summary, that means when it comes to calculation for task and group summary rules, use formula. Then say okay. So you see here. Yeah, because for dummy summary task, because all the subtasks are not milestones, it's giving me something other than one. But for summary, for milestone summary one, shown one, everything is a milestone. For milestone summary two, it takes the nested summary into account, it shows one, two, it means everything is a milestone. And also here, it shows one. That's fine. So. Next, my final helper 
volume add again i go for number then i go for number four and some field uh, i'll rename it what i want is number of completed milestones looking for my completed milestones i want to count the number of milestones are 100 percent complete under a summary number of so click ok so my formula will be again if look for my flag the milestone and it's 100 percent complete number percent complete equal to 100 Twenty percent complete, say one. But if it's not, if it's not a must, if it's not hundred, if the milestone and it's not hundred percent complete, say zero. Or if it's not a milestone, say zero. Okay. Okay, to this problem two now, because we're count, um, counting number of so I need us. I use Volop for calculation of group summary rules and. Go for some again okay so you see here is shown two completed milestones two completed milestones here three even though here you've got one it's calculating the threes on one two three and here it's shown three two one three yeah it's shown one which is just this so now we've got all our helper columns defined. So what we need now is the new text field and um, percent complete field to replace the default and complete field from Microsoft projects. And for that, I need a text field. So if I go insert column, I'm going to use text one. As always, you can use any other text field. I think there are 30 text fields in. Yeah. Custom field. I'm going to name this tax percent complete. And my formula. Uh, what I want to check is if if a summary activity and all the subtasks are milestones. Use average, calculate. Use average to calculate. Use the average number of completed milestone of um, completed and um, what's it called milestones for your percent complete. But if it's not a summary activity where all subtasks are milestones, just show the default Microsoft Project percent complete. So we go with if. And for expression, so if it's summary, that's a flag. And remember saying all subtasks are, what's it called? All subtasks are milestones. So I go back, number, custom field, all subtasks are milestones equal to one, because that's the default subtask and milestones. Now, if that's the case. Go so for the true part, we go format, because I want to show percentage, so I go format is format. Yeah, format should be that text. Format. Um, I don't need first day of the week or the first of the year. So for the expression, what I want to do is number of completed milestones because I'm doing average. So number of milestones that are hundred percent complete. And so I go number. 
of completed milestones number of milestones that are 100% complete divided by to to number of milestones have number custom of my now the format this is a calculation i want to show percentage i go percent the false part so if it's if it's not a summary activity or if it's a summary activity and all the subtasks are not milestones what should we do just display the the default microsoft project percent complete so we go number percent complete and then i'll concatenate this because i'm using a text field concatenate this with the percent symbol yes okay that's our formula i say okay yeah existing data will be deleted i'm happy with that okay so because we're doing summary calculation i need the formula this time for group summary rules i use formula say okay now if you notice for this dummy summary task percent the default percent complete is 72 our newly calculated percent complete is 72 percent too but for milestone summary where the default from Microsoft project is zero, our custom field is now showing 50%, which shows that three out of the six milestones have been completed. And for milestone summary three, it's fine, it shows 100%, 100%, all are completed. But for milestone, percent, milestone summary two, where the default percent complete field shows zero, our new custom field shows 60. That's because it's saying three out of the five milestones here have been completed. So it's taking this nested summary into account. So you see one, two, three, three out of five. So three over five, 60, and that's it. So now you can present your schedule showing percent complete for um summary rules where all subtasks are milestones so what do we do hide all our helper fields helper fields so we don't need them hide and we also hide um you gotta hide your the default microsoft complete and percent complete fields or move it out of views so hide Yep, and that's it. Hope you found this useful. As always, if you've got any comments, questions, ideas for new tutorials, just send me a message through my blog. I'll try my best to put something up for you. I'll take care and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye. Mm -hmm.